Today on Dialed In DIY, we're making a macro lens for your cell phone that you can make entirely out of parts that you can salvage. The first step is getting a lens you can use. In a previous video that we did, which is linked in the description below, we took apart a disposable camera and I mentioned that you could use that lens. Well, there's other cameras you can use, and I did in this case. There are many quick and easy ways that you can actually attach a lens to your camera, but I dialed it in a little bit further after playing around, and this is what I came up with. I got a plastic disc, I drilled a hole in the middle, and then I actually attached the lens that I took out of the camera right onto this. The camera's lens housing for this was actually perfect for my project because my phone has a case on it, and I wanted to be able to make sure that I got the lens as close to my camera lens as possible. Well, we now have our lens all set up. We just need a way that we can easily attach it to the phone and then take it off the phone when it's not in use. The two key parts that I needed to actually make a housing for this was a piece of PVC and a PVC end cap that I drilled a hole in. There are actually two slots you need to cut into the piece of PVC. One is a bigger, thicker slot that you're gonna slide into the phone and the other is a smaller slot where your little disc or the plastic piece that you're using to hold onto your lens will actually slide into that. Both of these can be done with a hacksaw and then just use some sandpaper or other sanding devices to gradually make it fit just perfect. I drilled a hole in the PVC end cap to help hold a tension rod that I'm gonna make to give a little extra stability for the lens. This is gonna be especially useful if I wanna use this lens on another phone that doesn't have a case that's quite as thick as this one. So I start by putting a little wing nut on top of a machine screw that I then insert through the hole in the top of the end cap. Then I took a spring and put it over the screw so that it would give it some tension on the inside. To keep everything together, I actually had a little nut that had a rounded end cap on it. This also served to help protect the phone a little bit. I put that through a rubber washer and then put the rubber washer onto the machine screw. I then tightened down the wing nut because this will pull that little piece back out of the way and makes it easier to get this on and off my cell phone camera. Now all you have to do is slide the phone in through that thicker slot in the PVC. With the tension from the spring, this is gonna stay in place really nicely. If I shake my phone around a little bit, the lens isn't gonna come off. Now, the plastic disc holding our lens is gonna be slid into that other little slot that we cut in the PVC, and then we'll position our lens right over the lens on the phone. All we need to do now is test it out. First, we're gonna start by looking at the focus and see how close we have to get it. You actually do need to get it pretty close when you're using this kind of a macro lens. Then, we can play around a little bit with the zoom and see what kind of pictures we can get. The close-up pictures and video that you can capture are actually quite amazing. There's some really neat shots that you can get. Have some fun and play around. Take a quick look at an Altoids tin that I used for making one project out of, and the pictures that are gonna scroll through include the pencil and the pencil eraser, close up of a game controller, and pixels on a monitor. Removing the lens when you're done is easy. Just take off the tension and slide the whole unit right off of your phone. The pieces are small and can pack up and be very portable. Thank you for watching. Please press like and then subscribe. There will be more dialed in DIY to come.